All right, let's see what these niggas talking about, man. What these niggas talking about? We have this very blanket definition of what that means. So we think it's money, taking care of bills, and so on and so forth. You ask a woman who was married in 1922, providing might have looked like control Mm -hmm. to her. Mm -hmm. She's not able to go out. She's not able to go work. She can't get a credit card in her own name. The the, the structure of the society is different in 1922. She can't buy property by herself. She want to leave old Earl that everybody in the community thinks is, you know, like this positive vote yet. She can't vote. That, you know, for her, providing was maybe control. Yeah. For, I think, everybody at this table, now that we're more self-actualized men, you know, we should know a little better, just a little bit. A little bit. Than 100 years ago, just a little bit, but... I think for us now, we know providing is more so aligned with security. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just making sure we have what we need at home. And like you said, Ali, like security might look like, providing might look like making sure that your wife is emotionally taken care of. I was the deep. Yeah. And and for your wife to be emotionally taken care of, you're going to have to fucking, that's why you bald, nigga. That's why you bald, man, trying to make sure your wife is mostly take care of. You see me? You see all that? My wife ain't mostly, she ain't mostly take care of, man. She got attitude, man. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. <laughs> you got attitude, man. Fuck you, man. I'm, I'm going to the other room, man. <laughs> I'm listening to this shit for about 30 more minutes, then I'm getting up and going to the other room, man. <laughs> I'm faking like I gotta take a shit, man. <laughs> I'm gonna fake like I gotta take a shit, go to the bathroom with my cell phone and shit. I can surf the net for like 45 minutes. Then she get tired and go upstairs, man. <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. You see all this hair on my head, man? You can't, you can't, you, man, all that emotional shit, man. That should have drive you crazy, man. Just listen. Be a good listener, man, and and stand up for yourself, man. Cause what he talking about letting them fucking bully you and shit. When I'm gonna bully you with that emotional shit. That um, a lot of that emotional shit they use that shit to bully you, man. Women use that emotional support shit, that emotional shit to bully you, man. You gotta be careful about that shit, man. That's why that nigga ball. That's why I got a full head of hair, man. Look like providing might look like making sure that your wife is emotionally taken Bro, care of. The, yeah. I was the deep. Mine don't need me. <laughs> Dude, the financial, she might not need she your money. Need the deep waters. People yeah. have things mm-hmm. deeper than financial concerns in their spiritual life, their mental life, their emotional life. And that is where a partner can really, you earn your bucks. Yeah. How do you hold somebody up when they feel spiritually weak, mm-hmm. mentally weak? Do you offer yourself or do you crush on people when they're down? Mm. These are the, the valuable qualities in a person when yep. you don't have the courage. Sometimes you hold your partner's courage when they don't have the strength to believe in something they want to do, yeah. something they want to fix, yeah. something they want to heal. And you'd be like, no, baby, you can do that. Yeah. I don't care what they said. You can do that. And you get a chance to bring that spiritual strength, that mental. Yeah, that's true. He, he right about that part. But he bald, too, so... <laughs> He bald too, man. Even the one, even the one, I, I agree with him though. But he he bald too, man. These motherfuckers let them, man. Women stress you out, Jack, man. Women stress you out, man. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down. Look, bitch, man. Fuck you, man. I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Fuck you, man. This person said. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, <man>. yo, <laughs> this dude got a confession, man. I, these are my confessions. <laughs>
He said, I haven't talked much about the death of George Neely because I'm sick of it. I'm tired of posting and sharing and being angry about the modern day lynching of black men and women. <laughs> we should be beyond rallies and protests and hashtags. What are we prepared to do about it? Y'all do, listen, man. Next time we do the gun memorial game, I'ma um I'ma 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 at this guy, man. I'ma at this guy next time we do the gun memorial game. We doing a whole lot about it, bro. <laughs> we doing a whole lot about it, man. <laughs> In fact, man, we up, man. We it's a blowout, man. We we <laughs> Cool cat say, man, I ain't listening. To, <laughs> I ain't listening to two, to two no ball dudes or relationship advice. I'm saying. Yeah, man, I ain't, they don't listen to no ball dudes, man. Them dudes stressed out, man. They letting them women stress them out. And listen, man, women gonna stress you out. Nobody's immune to that shit, but fuck that shit, man. You letting them, you letting that shit fucking make you go bald. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Her emotional, man, listen, man. Listen, man. Her emotions will take you to the fucking bottom of the Atlantic Ocean if you, to the middle of the fucking earth, man. She, this shit ain't never going in. Her emotions ain't never going in, man. So you following that fucking train, man, she going to take you to the fucking abyss, man. <laughs> Man, listen, when I see a, a black woman out with her white man, man, I don't even pay him no mind, man. I, I one one time I seen this fine ass black girl on the um on the um, DC Metro, so the subway. And she was um she had a she had a white dude, man. Man, this chick was fine. Oh, like upscale white black chick, man. And she was with and she was she she was with this she was brown skin. She was she was like a shade lighter than me. Maybe two shades, I don't know. And she was a white dude, man. And I'm talking about she was so fine, like nigga gonna look at her. She know she used to niggas like. Like you break you break your neck, you know what I'm saying? When you see her. And I just sat there like this. Like, bitch. I ain't look, I ain't, I ain't, you ain't I ain't gonna give me looking all at you to make you feel like I'm mad. I ain't mad at you with that white dude. I don't give a fuck with you with that white dude, man. Ain't none of my business. I ain't be trying to stare at you looking all fine. I can't have you. Fuck you, bitch. Black men continuously disrespect and degrade black women and wonder why black women are seeking fulfilling relationships with other races. I have dated black men in the past and it was emotionally, mentally exhausted. But why are they like this? <laughs> Said we mostly and mentally exhausted, man. <laughs> Damn. Be aware that I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. I am so tired of the lack of commitment, the lack of support, the lack of encouragement, the lack of money. Like, I don't know what to do from this point on but i can tell you one thing my interest in dating another black man is like one percent at this point you can't find no black man with no money you lying like shit i don't believe that she could find a black man with some money man she got that look man 
she liked dating projects and shit and challenges. She wanna she wanna challenge, man. She wanna fix her upper, man. See, that's the thing about these women. They like fixer uppers, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Black women love fixer uppers. Press one, man. Black women love fixer uppers. They do it yourself. They like DIY. <laughs> they, they like DIY and a nigga, man. <laughs> They want to make it their own, man. They don't want you. They don't want you. Want nothing. They want you like a. They want a lump of clay, man. Black women want a nigga like a lump of clay, man. They don't want no fucking statue and shit. They want a lump of clay, and they gonna do the. They gonna do that shit, man. Trust me, man. I'm I'm a son, man, man. Been around the block a time or two, man. They love fixer uppers, man. Pimp you, they want to pimp their ride. <laughs> this old house. <laughs> Remember that show, This Old House with Bob Vila, man? This old house, man. It ain't even necessarily bad boys, though, man. It's just that most bad boys is fixer-uppers, man. Like, all the bad boys fixer-uppers, but you don't even really got to be a bad boy, man. It's niggas that ain't even bad boys. They just they just um, late bloomers and shit, or... Um, they, they can't they 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 can't find direction man they can't get they can't get right man <laughs> niggas that can't get right but here's the thing niggas that can't get right shoot their shot man <laughs> Nig- niggas that got everything together they be all shy and shit maybe i wonder if she likes me i wonder if she likes me oh my god she's coming this way she's coming this way say something say something don't be a coward say something uh hi uh oh my god she didn't say hi back man Motherfucker, motherfucker, niggas, them fixer upper niggas, they be like, hey, show it, hey. She be two blocks away. Hey, come in. <laughs> we be jogging while we talk, calling them. We be, we be jogging. Hey, show it, hey. Hey, you in a, you in a white dress. Hey, white dress. Hold up. <laughs> Fixer uppers be brave, man. They be shooting, man. Fixer uppers, man, be brave, man. They want us to be ride or dies until they get their shit together. And then they don't want to support us in return. They don't want to commit to us. They don't want to marry us, but then they want all the benefits of being a husband without asking. Bitch, you could get married. Stop lying. If a nigga asked her to marry her, she'd be like, I don't know. That's why I'm telling you, man. Listen, guys, let me give you a piece of advice, man. I'm going to give you two pieces of advice. If you meet a girl, like say you meet a girl like this, right? And you young, right? And you young. And she, st- she first of all, let me let me give you the first piece of advice first. Because it, it's important. I can't even go forward without this. Never ask a woman to marry you unless she done been nagging you about that shit for a year. If she ain't been nagging you and dropping hints for a year. Do not ask her to marry you. Y'all be asking women to marry you and she ain't, she she like, oh, what? Like, oh, like, listen. If she ain't like, if she ain't like, if she ain't getting the attitude and shit and keep asking you when you gonna propose and shit and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna be in no relationship all my life. You um, 
you you want the cow, but you don't you want the milk, but you don't want to buy the cow. If if they ain't like dropping hints and getting mad that you ain't trying to marry them, do not ask them to marry you, Jack. Cause she gonna say she she only gonna say yes if you ask her in front of a bunch of people. If if if, if she ain't never if she ain't never been nagging you about getting married and you and you proposed her, you better propose her in front of like a hundred people so she'd be like, so she feels sorry for you. <laughs> she feel sorry for you and she'd be like, uh, I do or yes, I'll marry you and then get home and shit and be like, you know, we gotta talk. <laughs> Fuck this shit, man. Listen, man. Unless they nagging you, man. No, man. Shit, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Do not ask no woman to marry you unless she been asking for a while, man. And the reason I say a year is because the only way you, you want to know she's sure, man, is if it's a year, man. Don't do not ask no woman to marry you and she ain't brought that shit up. She ain't been nagging and bitching about that shit. If you y'all never talked about that shit and you just like, will you marry me? She'll be like, oh man, shit, man. She will she be mad as shit at your ass. But anyway, I suggest getting married to your first, to the girl you love. At first, like if you got a girl in high school or college that you love and you fall in love with that bitch, marry her. If you in your 20s and shit and you meet a girl and y'all in a relationship, marry her. It ain't going to get no better, Jack. <laughs> you thinking like, oh, man, nah, man, I'm going to hold out, man, for the next for for the next for the next one to come, man, it ain't gonna get no better, man. You gotta jump on that joint, man. If you in love with a girl, or you in the, in, in a girl, cause the next girl's gonna be, oh fuck, why I ain't married this last girl, and then she gonna get married with somebody else, and you gotta watch her be married to somebody else, or watch her be some nigga baby mama and shit. You got to watch her dragging around a bunch of fucking ghetto babies and shit because she done got caught up with some fucking fixer-upper. That shit going to hurt your heart, man. I say, I, I, I'm a big proponent, man. Marry that bitch, if you, especially when you're young. Marry her. Because then you're going to be with the person that you're supposed to be with. If you keep, if you keep not marrying her, something will happen. Y'all gonna break up, she gonna go some way, da 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 da. And then you're gonna be with somebody that you're gonna be with your second choice, your third choice, your fourth choice, your fifth choice. <laughs>